we about to get out. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 I ain't about to mess with you right now. We're going to talk about that off camera. Scoot over, act like you know who I am. There you go. Baby mama. I like it. Hey. Hey, what's our baby name? Little Squirt. Little squirt. Oh, little squirt. Little squirt. Okay. There you go. Little squirt. There you go. She feisty. No, no, it will not be my squirt daughter. Squirt right now. Name, she don't even know. Squirt. See, you don't know the threesome right now. You don't know what's going on. This, the, this is my baby right here. This is my baby. Are you cheating on me? This is an understanding we have. This is cheating. How is it cheating if we all here together? <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> to record this but we are live oh okay all right all <laughs> we right. are live y'all yeah. i was supposed to be recording this episode because it's on a sunday but we live i can still restream it no big deal yeah. hey everybody knows who i am what's up dj squirt urban city radio station.com cleveland ohio we are global baby what's up with y'all on a sunday yeah. what's going on i have adventures music team in here you know i love adventures music What's up, Chris Gotti? CG, what's good? I got O and De Niro and Dex Diamond. Hey, baby. What's that little one's name with the deep voice, little young boy? Oh. Uh, champ, uh, campaign. Oh, campaign. Ooh, yeah. What's up, campaign, baby? <laughs> yeah, campaign. Shout out to Virginia. Campaign. Shout out, baby. Mm -hmm. um, we have got the wonderful, sexy. How tall are you? I'm 6'1. Six 6'1, one. Six one, chocolate with a deep voice. He came in here. He brought me some McDonald's. Y'all know I'm in love. He done brought me some food. <laughs> oh, shoot, nah. Yeah. We got food up in here. And he brought me a victim. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Get him. victim. <laughs> How you doing? Tell everybody what your name is, baby. Foreign music boy, K. All right. And where you from? Houston. He is from Houston, Texas. All the way from Houston, Texas. Like I say, we are global. And we bring him in here from any damn where. Yeah. You know why they come to see me? Because my name is Squirt. Is she nasty? I ain't, I'm, oh, I'm not, I can be nasty. Okay. But, I'm a you know, you're a Christian. He ain't pay his ties. Well, right. You yeah. better go pay your money before you say that. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, everybody know what it is in the studio, UrbanCityRadioStation.com, and myself, DJ Squirt. Make sure that you download our app on Google Play, iTunes. Check us out on Streamer, tune in, iTunes Internet Radio. We're also on UCRSGlobal.com and UrbanCityRadioStation.com. And shout out to them damn nerve DJs. What? Y'all miss the nerve, nerve DJs. Y'all miss the nerve DJs. I ain't, listen, I ain't, get the, I ain't get the invite. Well, I'm going to have to start making sure I'll invite y'all. Man, it was so dope. It was crazy. Oh, man, Rock Nation was yeah. there. Um, yeah, we missed about a week, it, right? It was nice. Last yeah, week? It was last week, yeah. It was really nice. Mm -hmm. So um, before we start our interviews, y'all know what it is. Urban City Radio Station is about bringing people together. It's about showing them who you are, what you're about, so that you can be some type of positive influence to someone else. Thanks. I used to say kids, yeah, but now else. I know some 50-year-olds that can learn from some 10-year-olds, so we just say people, because most of y'all 50-year-olds need it more than anybody. Mm -hmm. All y'all crazy. I ain't get it by mm -hmm. now, so I'm wrong. Okay? The mm -hmm. little simple stuff, they just dumb. I mean, they just don't get it. <laughs> that wasn't a good word. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> they don't get it. But anyway, we're going to focus on my little victim here. Hey, bro. How you doing, beautiful? Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I like that. Comments, He's like, oh, I'm getting comments yeah. and stuff. I love yeah, it. Y'all yeah. know. Don't treat me bad. I still give you comments. No, this is a learning experience. Right. right. This is a learning experience between both of us. <laughs> <laughs> when your emotions go up and down, boy, you can get along when you start getting an understanding. You know what I'm saying? So you say stuff to make them mad, say stuff to make them glad, then everything's all good. You're a pimp. I am. See, that's what it is. When you're pimping, you, you build them up. And you break them down. Yeah. Them break them down. Dress them, make them look nice, and say, bring me my money. So you're trying to put me on a strip? Never. Well, I want 50%. No, that's a management deal. You're not the manager. <laughs> Definitely manager. See, I know my business. <laughs> okay. Now, first, before we get started, I had to briefly give him the information about what you do when you come in my studio. He's already been ordained. <laughs> yeah, I've been there a couple times. Been, yeah, couple, yeah, it has been a couple times, yeah. But that's cool. You can call me anytime and say it over the phone. Okay. I appreciate that. I got that. you. Everybody know I got a voice back. I call you name. You make sure that. Okay. All right. Now, but we have to break Mr. What's your, what's your name again? Foreign. Foreign? You don't even know my name. Foreign Music. I have one child. M-U-S-I-K. Got you. <laughs> I have one child, and I forget her name. So come on now. Wow. Work with me. Work wow. with me. <laughs> child. I hope she's not watching this right now. She does. She knows. She do. She called me different names too, on yeah. purpose. <laughs> She's crazier than I am. So check out. There's rules to my studio when mm -hmm. you enter. Mm -hmm. So 
So I need you to follow the rules before we start this interview, okay? All right. All right, there's some rules on the board. Okay. You know, turn around a little bit for me. It says radio station rules for men. Mm-hmm. Rule number one, could you read that for me? It is the studio. All right, are we in agreement? Yes. Yeah. All right, awesome. Yeah. I love it. All right, yeah. Okay, rule number two says you must text, call your wife, girlfriend, and break up. Mm. Can you go ahead and take care of that before we get started, please? She texted real fast. She said, all you got to do is go, we broke up. You ain't got to say nothing else. And don't answer back until the interview's over. Okay? What's your number again? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else did that to me. Oh, okay, so, so you can't break up with me. It's me. Uh, I'm, right, I'm, I'm the one. So we good. Uh, it's just me. Oh, yeah, we good. Oh, we all. He dope. All right, now. You like that? I like that. Boy, bye. You like that? Yeah, you keep that, the whole relationship. Keep that together. All right, okay? so, all yeah. right don't change. Don't worry. All right. Yeah, one so, more rule. One more rule. Now, Squirt has a voice fetish. It does something to me. <laughs> That's the power, your superpower to me. So, you must follow the instructions that I provide you in these few seconds, and then you're going to say my name to appease me when I'm done. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you ready? <laughs> All right, this is the scenario. Yes, ma'am. We take a weekend away. Mm-hmm. We are in this cabin. Mm-hmm. And um, it's on a hill. Mm-hmm. And uh, we get there. Great. Okay. We're, we're going to be two night, two days. First, uh, sorry, off, first two off, what you wearing when we got there? Well, it's, it's cold out there. So I got oh, boots on, Timberlands, oh, so bomber kind of, jacket. That type of stuff. Kind of sexy thing going on. Oh, it's going to be a sexy thing. All right, okay, so check out. Let me see. Mm-hmm. So let's check this out. Mm-hmm. So we get there. We have a good time, you know. Mm-hmm. Spend two nights, three days. Mm-hmm. The third day, you know, see, I'm a business chick. Huh. The fun is over. Two days enough. I got to get back to the money. Right? So, you know, we done had our fun. We done drank our wine. We done did our thing. You know what I'm saying? All kind of ways. Yeah, right. We did that. Kind of ways. We did that. So, <laughs> I drink a whole bottle by myself. So, I hope you had one, too. Ooh, you had girl, one? Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, the third morning we get up. It's time to go. I'm on my business. Let's go. Everybody calling. Phones ringing. All right. It's 20 feet of snow outside. Oh. We stuck. Yeah. Oh, I got out of there. Mm, you, you know you can't. Oh. You're going to have to do what you need to do to keep well, it right. Because you're going to be stuck in there with King Don. Oh, King Donkey. Did you say Donkey? King Don. King Don? Like okay. Don. I got you. Yeah. But um, I'm squirt. So I have this attitude because I can't get back to my money, it right? Like money. So you have to do what appeases me. All right. This is what we do. Mm-hmm. This is the scene. Okay. We're sitting in front of a fireplace. We have a bare skin rug. We're sipping on wine, you know, we still had stuff, you know, we're sipping on wine, I got an attitude, mm-hmm. right? I'm leaning on you, mm-hmm. I ain't got no clothes on, mm-hmm. but I ain't giving you no action, because I got an attitude, mm-hmm. you feel me? I'm rolling my eyes and stuff, I'm, I'm mm-hmm. real nasty, I'm real ugh mm-hmm. to you, you don't like that, you know, you're a sensitive man and you love me, mm-hmm. <laughs> but you can't be doing this all night, right? Yeah. So what you need to do, you know I got this voice for this, so how are you going to say my name to me to change my attitude? Ass out this house. <laughs> 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 ain't going for that shit. He dropped, <laughs> real. he dropped that voice. That was dope. <laughs> he, dropped, he was like, Look at Squirt. Mm-hmm. I like that. All you right. Got he got, you got, got them goodies for the night, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you don't give it to me? Oh, yeah, you it's got cold it. outside in that snow. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'd rather stay on the fair skin rather than that. We good. We had a great night. Awesome. I love it. Thank you for participating. That was really fun. Actually, that's. I like your show, man, because ain't nobody doing <laughs> nothing like Close that ever. Us. Nothing. Hey, it's, this it's is a, just it's me. Inter- it's, it's, it's fun. The energies are right. And, you know, normally you go into these interviews and people just, like, you can tell they just reading off the paper. Well, see, you know what? This relationship we have now, mm-hmm. we're going to have forever. I love it. Because, you know, we may see each other. You know, you see my tables over there, right? Mm-hmm. You know, I know Chris Gotti or mm-hmm. Dex Diamond or De Niro. Hey, baby, I love his voice. Oh, my God, I lose my mind. <laughs> May call me to DJ for one of y'all. You never know. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm planning on getting that stage and F it up, okay? Mm-hmm. So, we may see each other again. We have a rapport. You could be like, the big of my girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Mama. Baby mama. There you go. Oh. So, now we have a relationship. Cool. But be careful. No. Oh. This one over here. No, we should. No, and then Chris cool. Gotti, man. Cool. That's the man. He just said it himself. He said it. Right. He was like in a sandwich right now. Right, we cool. <laughs>
We go. We go. Like in the sandwich, right? right we go. On wheat bread. Right, right. We go. We go. Wheat bread. <laughs> so again, for everybody who's just now jumping in watching, this is Gambino. Yeah, we're in the building. From Adventures Music. Yeah. Part of the team, bringing them in here, bringing them in here to mm -hmm. holler at me. And this is the beautiful Forum Wood Music. I didn't want to say it wrong because I know how important that foreign is. Foreign music with a foreign K. Foreign music with a K. Are we following each other yet on Instagram and stuff? I'm following you, but you're oh, not you are, following Let me. me follow you back. Oh, let me follow you back, baby. Okay. Because yeah. you're dope. I like you. Yeah. How boring. Decent. You're taller than me, but just I'm taller than you, so. Yeah, yeah, we like that little, I like that feisty stuff. It make me act up. I know. You know? So I'll make sure I follow you back. Okay. So, there are a few more questions that I do like to ask because I believe that. I didn't get there yet, boo. You better get there. Mm. I go right there. Mm. Ooh, there I go. Foreign music. Hey, baby. There you go. I'm following you. Yeah. I ain't going to follow like him because I followed can you. Can you like, like one of my pictures? Here, let me go like. Let me see. Let's, let's see what you got going on. Should I play it? Oh, look my at you. Right Who is that? Uh, that's my I'm jealous that's right now. Life. She did? Yeah. I apologize. Honey. She's beautiful. R.I.P. to honey. R.I.P., baby. She's beautiful. Oh, right look at now. you. Oh, that's my artist. Look, oh, that's your artist? Look, you yeah. got all these likes. I don't even get that many likes. That's because they be hating. Look at you. Two hundred. Boy, you got a nice go little Instagram. Go you got a nice Instagram. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. She's that gorgeous. Oh, that video right there is lit. This one? Oh, yeah, that's, that's wild. Let's take a look at it real quick. It's going to be a minute. Yeah. Oh, 50 views, you dope. I need to look at them comments too, man. Hold on, baby. I'll be sitting there you first. Man. He's funny. Yeah. Okay. So I did that video like The Great Gatsby. It looks really, really good. <laughs> no, really. Oh, can I be in one of your videos? Yeah. I'm not playing. You gonna have a love? Yeah. yeah. Oh, girl. Boy, you know. That's the next thing. That's the next thing. I got some extra interesting skills that I've acquired over my years. Well, then you can't be doing those skills because it's about a woman that never made love. So you can't come in there professional. Oh. Okay, I gotta play stupid. <laughs> yeah. Okay, my bad. <laughs> I'm gonna play stupid, boy. Do your thing. <laughs> okay, so. That, that, that really looks good. It's the very first one. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I'm so happy you came in here today. Yeah, that's my... Baby doll. My baby daddy. Look at you. Mm -hmm. You know, I say big help from Def Jam to my baby daddy. Uh, I follow him around. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he just laugh at me. He don't pay me no attention. But I do it anyway. Is help part of the nerves? He day. is a nerve DJ. Yeah, because yeah, he was yes. uh, retweeting some stuff. From him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. actually positive. The, oh, it's very, very positive. Yeah. You know, I got I got a trick for half though. Yeah. You know how they have online and they have a picture of you and a picture of the daddy. Y'all put them together and show Make what your baby. baby's gonna look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna birth our child. <laughs> 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 you gonna okay. find that crazy? I'm gonna birth. That. Oh yeah, he'll love yeah. it. I just be playing with him. He know that. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I'm gonna go for my questions because I believe that if people get to know you mm -hmm. and they know who you are and they love you, mm -hmm. they will support you. Thanks. You can sell your own foreign music bubble gum yep. for a dollar. And get that support. See what I'm saying? It's very important. So let's start from the beginning. You are from Houston, Texas. I am from Houston, Texas. From Studiowood to North Side of Houston. All right. Speak up just a little bit because we ain't got our uh, mics on. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm from Studiowood to North Side of Houston. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's the trenches. The it's, trenches? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's the same place Mike Jones from. Who? Oh, really? Mike, Mike Jones. Jones. Who? Mike Jones. <laughs> it's very yeah. entertaining. So it's, uh, it's silly. We're from the same place. Mm -hmm. And, um, so it, it, it's just, it's, it's real difficult coming up out of that because it's legit nothing but crap houses and trap houses. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, yeah. the best people come from the hardest. Exactly. Okay. So how many siblings do you have? I have two that I know. Right. But I, I got like, oh, I, honestly, mm -hmm. well, I got, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult? My, my, I got two that I know that's still alive. My brother, Quick Clack, is dead. Uh, R.I.P. Clack. And my little brother. And um, I got some other brothers on my daddy's side I don't know. And I got some sisters I don't know. And, you oh, know, wow. that goes. So in the home, how many children who grew up in the home with you? In the home? Growing up? Two. Two others? Yeah, yeah. So out of these two ch other children, what child are you? I'm the middle child. Ah, you know my theory, right? Mm -hmm. I have a theory. Mm -hmm. I'm a nerd. I read everything and okay. I study people. 
And all my interviews in the last year, it's been a year and a half now, so maybe two years, that I've been interviewing and I study and I analyze their answers. Mm -hmm. The ones who really take off, that are really, really majorly successful, are the oldest, the middle, or the only child. Mm. So that's another reason. Baby child is gonna be small. Very mm -hmm. much. Look at you. You are smart. Yeah, that's exactly it. what I say I'm next. <laughs> the baby is usually spoiled because they're watching everybody. So it's, it depends on the position of that child in the family and mm -hmm. how many are in the family. The more in the family, the more together that person's gonna be because they get to experience so many things at a young age, like mm -hmm. jealousy. Pain, hate, crying, mm -hmm. mad, love, all of that so yeah. young, yeah. you know, are being around different people. So when they get older, they've already experienced that kind of stuff, and they, they move exactly. a little faster. Exactly. That's dope. So you're the middle child. You on my wall of fame. Woo! Can you get a picture? Oh, let me get a kiss. You want some kiss? I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I will suck your face. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Jesus. So I was going to say something else. You mm -hmm. see me? Yeah. He, he oh, tissed nah, up a little see, bit. See, in my mind, it already just substituted. <laughs> so you said your face, <laughs> well, and I already swapped the word out. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. That's dope. Okay, so tell me just a little bit. Try to, you know, because your challenges are what make you who you are toward the success. And there may be another child or another person um, that's watching you or that see this video uh -huh. to understand what you've come from. So it's always a great thing to share even if it was bad. But I do prefer the artists share their challenges, their struggles that make them to the success or those challenges and struggles lead you to that success. So um, well, how would you describe your childhood um, to show what you've overcome? Well, it's crazy because... Uh Honestly, when you living in those environments, you thinking that your childhood is, is lit. You don't see nothing wrong with it, whatever you're doing. Right. But now that I'm older and I realize this is everything I did was on the edge. I mean, clearly, mm -hmm. my little brother is dead. Like, everybody I know that I grew up with is legit dead. Like, Really? Yeah. Like, all the people you grew up with, all of them are passed away? Yeah, everybody oh got memories. But I got some, mm -hmm. one, two, a couple of people. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they just... You know, nobody makes it out where I'm from. That's why it's just rare. But, okay, so who I am, where I'm from, my mama really just had one, she worked at Target. Okay. So you know what that is. That income. And then you got three kids in this house. You know. Let me say, let me, let me explain something that I, I've learned, that I share, and that I've learned. Mm -hmm. People and society has made it look as though you have to have so much money to have such a great childhood, and that is not true. No. Okay? So... You guys, I mean, I've had the best times on butter sandwiches and jelly bread. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Playing in the dirt in the projects yeah. as a kid, yeah. having a ball. Yeah. I've had the best times with it. So it's not yeah. about the money. No. So if, I'm sure that makes it even more enriching. You that your mother worked at Target yeah. to take care of three years. Yeah. To work to take care of three years. Yeah. That's she hard. hard. She went hard to do what she could do. And uh, like I said, when you're going through it, you don't, you don't know, know that it. it's bad. Mm -hmm. You think this is life, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Walking the house, we got to eat. Poach out sandwiches, what? We lit. You know, right, like, you be happy. Then when you get older, then people just like, oh, no, I ain't eat. I, I don't eat, eat that. that. It's stuck up asses. I eat ramen noodles right now. I just had a bowl of soup well, this morning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when I travel, man, I pack my luggage full of ramen noodles. Why not? I mean, you, <laughs> you know what? Just because, just mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I don't see eat that you. Shit, nigga. I feel <laughs> you. <laughs> I you know, that shit, I'm gonna be eating with Gambino for a little bit. You know, then I go back to my home. You know what I'm saying? And Gambino is dope. See, you know see, see, you know see, you know see now, nah, <laughs> see before I leave my house. Mm -hmm. Went to my pantry and stuff my luggage full of ramen noodles. But you know what? Because that's what you're familiar with and you're happy with it. Yeah, and there's then, nothing wrong with that. It's about what makes you happy. Because at the end of the day, I'm working. So when I'm working, I ain't trying to do all this extra. Going up, pop up the noodles, spit it up, eat that, and I'm gone. I, ain't nothing wrong I'm with that. I'm eating to survive. Like I told you, that childhood and enrichment and being around other, other families and the bonding and the survival together that you learned with your mother, mm -hmm. working at Target with a little bit of money, you learned more things from pe from that situation than, than people up. that have all that money and grew up mm -hmm. in all that kind of cars and don't see no struggle. So that makes you dope already. Now, um... I don't know if I should ask you, but do you want to share about your little brother? I mean, if you don't want to, you no, don't have to. I get it's it. Cool. Uh, I just touch on it a little bit because this is what these, what you know, what these kids need to hear. Yes. Is because, first of all, say for instance, growing up, I always thought he was like the most gangstest person ever. Could never die. He's older. 
younger. I was younger, okay. Yeah. Mm, about a year younger than me. Okay. So, I always thought you could, nothing can happen to him, you know what I'm saying? He had mm-hmm. the streets on lock, you know, everybody respected him. And then, long story short, uh, you know, we was all doing, like, negative things, but he was, uh, he was, you know, doing something that, obviously, I told him that he shouldn't have been doing. Mm-hmm. And, and one bullet is all it took. Yep. Legit, one bullet took a, a soul away that was, like, loved by everybody. It's just such a big in soul that, that was in his body. And with one bullet, a couple of seconds, it's completely gone. Yeah. And it'll never come back again. You know, and so when you're in these, these environments and you're doing all this stuff with these kids and you're thinking that that's what it is, you got to understand that you literally, between life and death, every day you walk out the house, every time you decide to go do something, you legit making a choice that it's 50-50 like today. And, but, and you know this, but you don't know the value of I guess since I was older, when I'm older and I got things now, because back then, I didn't have nothing, so I felt like I had nothing to live for. But now, I like my house, I like my cars, I like my stuff, you know, so I'm like, I want to be here forever with my stuff. You're happy, right, in a a happy place, and that's dope. Yes, I want to be with my stuff as long as possible, but back then, it's just like, I used to be like, man, I never leave You didn't didn't have nothing to care (laughs) about, but see, there's a whole giant world out here, seven, over seven billion people on this world, in Mm -hmm. this world. So one little person on this world that's giving you beef or grief or is a waste of your time to even analyze. If you can't resolve it or they're not willing to resolve it, walk away. Yeah. That's the best. And people tell me that. I get all my support all over the world. I I look on there. I can tell on my station who's watching, who's not. I used to not have not one person from Ohio. Not one. But then they want to tell me how I should be doing or what I'm doing wrong. wrong. I don't want to hear that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you don't like me, don't hit the like button because I got 7 billion other people watching. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you, it's about how you look at it. So I'm, what I'm feeling from this story in your life with your, your younger brother, you can use that energy, that love that you have for him mm-hmm. and share that with everyone else. And that can live through him through you. So that's a power that you have that no one has. See what I'm saying? You can always take what's bad and make it good. And I'm not preaching to be talking about what I read or what I heard. I'm talking about what I lived. Not real. Okay. Because all energy is that's what they understand. It's Negative energy is it. positive and positive yep. energy is all the same energy. It can all be changed. Yes. You you can more, yeah. you have that power to change exactly. it and adjust whatever it is that comes to you. I definitely understand everything. Oh, I used to be that person. You are who you talking to? What? You know why? Because yeah. now that see, and that's another thing we learn about these young Yo, mothers. Oh yeah, <laughs> I said that in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> it's way too last night. Okay. Yeah. What happened? Tell it, tell it, tell it, Same. tell it, tell it. I gotta let him tell it. It's his interview. Tell tell it. Tell it. It. So <laughs> okay, you tell it, but you gotta leave some out because it was a little crazy, man. Yeah, it was camera, man. It was crazy, man. It was right, crazy. You can tell him from, from, tell from the car when, I, when, I, when, I, when the dude got pulled out of his car. Oh, so man, we we leaving. We leaving a. Don't say the name. Yeah, yeah. No, we, yeah. Leave no, we don't even know. No. Okay. So we leaving the club, man. Mm-hmm. And we, you know, we messed up. Mm-hmm. So we about to go grab us some food. I would like to say mm-hmm. whatever you know. So we uh, next thing you know, we we look we look in the rearview mirror. He's like, man, somebody getting beat up. So we look in the rearview mirror. Some dude just getting beat up. And his drug out his car. Like, drug out his car and everything. So he's like, yo, world stars. So he jumped out with his phone. It's like, he's like, yeah. It's so like, the dude across the street, though, he got it. Black dude. He's he like, I already got it, world star. Yeah. So he's chilling. <laughs> so then, turn around. I'm stopping the street for some odd reason. See, some hear, people we knew. Yeah. Matter of fact, yeah. Okay, okay. So then, he he turned around. All I hear from him is, what? You bitch <laughs> Oh, he said to you? No, I ain't. This is Gam. I hear Gam voice only. And I'm still talking to the people I know, but all I keep hearing is, you bitch ass nigga, what? What? Get your bitch ass out the car there. It's dragging about this motherfucker. And it's going on for a long time. It's just going and going. Okay. And I hear this thick New York accent. And I'm just like, it, yeah, man. So when we got back. So you had to clock out? Yeah, you clock out. Yeah, it was these God dudes, man. These I need dudes. You to, I, mean, but they, I need you to be here for me. I'm you good. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. But okay. you know, you got dudes who feel like, you know, they that guy, or, you know. It was two of them. They thought they was tough, and I'm like, get out the car. Like, I oh, damn it's Gambino, you know. I don't need you doing that. We need. Oh, cool. I need to be. See, we both got oh, dimples cool. and everything. We got yeah, this relationship. We, we can't we do that. But, but you know, you know this work. This work yeah. right here. Yeah, we had good time. Work. You know, you know what it is. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anywho, 
So that's very important. And, and and I'm telling you, the people that really make it and that's really strong in this game, that's really making a, a, a difference. Mm -hmm. See, what it is, you're making a difference. Definitely. Okay? It's not that you're just this great artist and everybody wanting to watch you. People can feel your spirit. Mm -hmm. So you're making a difference. I could tell you it was dope when you walked in here. You know. I ain't want to pat you on the booty or nothing like I normally do. So I said, let me let him sit down. You get to know who he is. Right. I did. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a reflex. But anyway. <laughs> so it's pretty dope. I mean, I'm going to be looking for you. I'm going to be watching. I love it. I love it. Because so, yeah, I'm already, since I've been out, I, didn't, I rolled out like a year and a half ago with my solo project. And uh, so from there, I released a song called Get This Money. Get This Money made it to Revolt TV. Dope. Uh, it was on a DJ Khaled special on The Breakfast Club. Dope. Yeah, so that was dope. That was actually pretty dope. Then I released another single by the title On Top. On Top was picked up by BT Jam. You better go. Yeah. When you make it, you better say my name. I swear to goodness, we're going to drop it. Squirt. I'm be, yeah, he's squirt. I'm going to be having a video squirt. there. Talking about, yeah, he yeah. done made it up there. No, hell no, man. Uh -huh. They're going to be like, why you keep running around screaming squirt? It's this girl. You let them know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, That's the best market in the world. Right 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 yes, there. it is. Oh, it's just a chick named DJ Squirt in Cleveland, Ohio. Well, thank yeah, you for the plug. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's first what I'm saying. First one in Cleveland to show them some love, too. Yeah, the yes, first one really? Cleveland. Awesome. Yeah. I'm loving yeah. that. And, you know, I'm trying to keep this here, and I'm growing it. And um, I do have some really good... Squirt done came up, y'all. Y'all don't even understand. They're they not watching. Yeah. They don't care. Squirt they don't came care. up. Because, you know, mm -hmm. it's been a lot of people coming at me trying to utilize it how they want to utilize yeah. it. But this was a plan in my head before it yeah. even came live. So it wasn't about them. Yeah. So, yes, I'm bossy. Yeah, I could yeah, be a B. Up. I could be a B.I. <laughs> and I will tell you about it because I ain't got mm -hmm. time to waste. Mm -hmm. I waited 26 years to even try, you know, because I took care of my child. Mm -hmm. Now I'm doing what I want to do. I ain't got time for that. Thanks. All right? So, back to you, darling. Yes, ma'am. How are you enjoying our relationship? Uh, it's not as beautiful as I thought it was going to be. So I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I did throw you a little bit. Yeah. No, first I was kind of a little scared. Yeah, first I was a little scared. I was verbal like, abuse. Can I do this? I was like, I don't know. I think I need to go talk to somebody. So. <laughs> we need counseling. Yeah, we need counseling, man. Because we yeah, but. Well, anytime, you know, they got the... Um, connect on Facebook now, like, so, like, if we Facebook Live talking, we can have somebody else join in and counsel us online. Oh, we might need to do that. We could do that. I'd right. be, I could be, you know. We could do that. I'd be Dr. Phil. Yeah. Actually, that'd be, like, you know a, that'd be, like, a, that'd be an actual a dope, dope little platform. series. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you can have random people just calling in with their little relationship know. problems, and then you can have somebody actually, like, hey, yes. this is what it is, your girl died. Right. She's a whore. And I already right. hit it, and the reason why I know she died, because I'm telling you. Right, she got four babies by, babies by five of my dudes. By five of my dudes. Right. And right. like, Damn. One of them they don't know is between mm -hmm. the two. Right. And they need to be Dr. Feelgood. <laughs> mm -hmm. There you go, Dr. Feelgood. You about to work that out. That'll work. I do video interviews also. Yeah. So I could check in with you on the screen and we could stream it and you could be telling me what's up. You could be All wherever you at. Yeah. Hey, for real. Well, then, if we all going to do that idea, I want part of that. I want to be the main. You could be our be relationship the, expert. Yeah. I'm going to get so you. We're we can do have that. him doing the counseling, mm -hmm. and I can be the person that y'all call in on chime. I'll be on the road wherever I'm at, and I'll just call in and chime in and give my input. We'll bring mm -hmm. our disputes or Man, you know, that'll really catch clouds. Let's yeah. do it. No, that'll for really real, really that'll be dope. Mm -hmm. I already started my network, Square TV. Yes, ma'am. So that's what it's going to be. It's and on it Urban City Broadcast Networks. And it can be on yeah. Square TV. We're going to do that. Hey. Y'all just saw a business deal go down online. That's it. All business. It's about to go down. That's right. That's right. So. Okay, so back to so after the childhood, how mm -hmm. did you get into this music? So you, I mean, I'm, hold on, let me, I'm, I'm sorry, take me back to <laughs> he flexed with hey, the outro. Right, right. Did y'all flex on him? Yeah, he's, Woo! Yeah. <laughs> he's so cute. You sure wasn't his heart beating? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yes, it is. <laughs> I was right. Palpitations. I, I was. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so, <laughs> so you, you know, you just tell me, I, I can tell but where you're speaking is a little rough in the neighborhood mm -hmm. and, and what you saw going on. And then they had a nice ending, though. It, yes. It, yeah. it ain't over yet. Well, I, right. Well, you just, yeah. this, this is just the beginning. No, this is just the beginning. So, I think you have a great mindset to be able to take whatever comes on to you. That's dope. Mm -hmm. um, so, in these challenges growing up, how did music come into this for you? How, how was this, how did you make it to music with all the street stuff? Well... I mean, I was already just doing music, like, since I was, like, you know, every African-American person or black person or uh, anybody else, you know, we're going to always do music. Anytime you run to a black person. That's not it, true. No, I'm saying we got rhythm. We do music. That's not I, true. I bet you, have you ever tried to do music? 
What I'm trying to say can't is you can't, you can't say yes, I actually can. What I'm trying to say is blessed in you. What I'm trying to say is there's some people that don't. You you're saying that, but no, I'm, I'm not trying to say different. like that's just okay. there. So you're saying in your oh, neighborhood. Dude, I'm trying to say, well, yeah, that you okay, know. Okay, got you. Yeah. Got you. Because where I'm from is just like that's then just. Then I get inbox like, yeah, 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 that ain't true. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I said not I want to be an LPN. Right, right. I don't want to do music. <laughs> right. you know, I did a six month nursing program. Right. I'm a nurse. And then as soon as I run to her, she's going to she gonna drop a mixtape. Right. And then give me her registered nurse certificate with a mixtape. No, I get it. Music plays a good part in everything, and all that's real, but they're. I like to try to keep it that because I'm telling you when we have these shows, I get inboxes. Yeah, why you say that? Different, different, different why you say that? Because what I'm trying to say is that we're just blessed with talent and rhythm. And that's true. With the rhythm. But I know some... Some I, people I, that just like, I don't, I I don't care for it. I believe it's how you are raised. All right, no so matter what color you are. Where I'm from, mm-hmm. that's just what the hell it is. Gotcha. <laughs> so okay, gotcha. Everybody in my mama you do good. music. I think my mama do music too. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, I'm joking. My mama don't I, do music. Because <laughs> everybody don't do music. You just said that, right? They don't. You're right. No, but um, so... So I was doing music, you know, as a kid, then I got a little older, you know, I was going to go to college, then my cousin uh, did this making a band stuff and actually made the band. Really? Making the band was dope? Yeah, man. He he actually did it. He Brian from J26. Okay. Yeah, so he made the band, so he pulled back up in the hood, and he pulled up in a new charger, you know, he was like, I was out there at a gang meeting. <laughs> I was in a gang meeting. Right, so that was just, okay, I get you. That's your, like, that was your way out. That was your inspiration. Nice. 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 He, gave, he gave me a choice. Brian gave me an ultimatum. Brian came to me and said, look, you're going to stay here in the hood and you're going to probably die. Like, everybody does when, you know, right. when you're doing There's what no you're doing. There's no other options. Because right. this is what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm playing with death. He's like, all right, you can change your life and you can come over here with me and I, you can be something. You know, he was like. That's dope. Yeah, so then. Threw me right. I just came right to the main thing. That is <laughs> dope. You had an angel. Yeah, Brian Angel. Come save your. <laughs> that's exactly it. Come save your life. No, that's cool. that's his last name. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Stop it. No, that's I'm very. I I really the spirits is real with me. Yeah. So he came to you to. He said, "Hey, this is it." Yeah. And awesome. then I came from living in the hood to a white gated community. Wow. Overnight. How was that? Yeah. Man, it was crazy. I was still selling drugs out of his house. Oh! Because <laughs> you had to wean off of that. That's the uh, yeah, lifestyle. I had to wean off of the big shit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why like telling me not to. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So I was going, so, I was going hard. You have an amazing was. story. Yeah, it was like a movie. That ain't even nothing because I got into some other real trouble during that situation. Yeah, I had go. To you can't Boston. do both. You cannot do both. And I messed up a situation oh. that could have been perfect for me. Not with my cousin. Man, my cousin good. I just got into some stuff. You had to get up out of here. And then I had to skip state. And then I moved to Boston, and that's when I became a black man instead of a nigga. You because, better go with the say. Yeah. Oh, say that again. I, say it again. I became a black man instead of a nigga. Okay. How so did that then happen? I, I was out there on my own. You know, uh-huh. yeah, I was out there on my own. I cut my hair all off, changed my whole identity. You know, real oh, talk. Oh, you done like, did some stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. it was real. Okay. I had to change. So I moved out there, man. I started working a job. What? What, man? That's Only different. Was, it was chill. That's a whole different It was world. actually cool, man. I had a job. Mm-hmm. had me about paying my bills. I ain't have to look over my shoulder. And then, you know, it's just really, because getting into the music at the age of 18, just thrown in there, that was like my first job. Man, it messed you up. Because I'm coming, I didn't learn the value of a dollar. Right. I mean, I knew what it was. Yeah, I didn't appreciate it as an adult. Right. Because when you're 18 and young, you're selling drugs and all that, you're just blowing your money on what? Shoes? Anything. Mm -hmm. Anything just material. Anything you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you get older, man, and I had to get a job, it just made me really realize, like, yo, bro, money is real. Yes, yes. Because, and then it was difficult, too, because I didn't have respect for nobody. And so no. I, 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 loved, I learned a lot getting a job because coming into the music, I'm coming out of the projects, not even respecting women, not respecting men. Then I get money in my pocket, and I'm really not respecting it's nobody. I'm legit just mm-hmm. <laughs> going, who, nobody can tell me nothing. You're getting chopped down to learn. That's good. But then, yeah, because God will bring you back down. And... I got the job. I lost a lot of jobs because I know how to say yes, sir, no, sir, be respectful. Right. But then as I got the hang of it, and then I started wanting to keep a job because I got stuff to do. I got bills. And then, yes, it made me. That's but then dope. now I'm Look in a position you. to where I built myself. Uh, we got my own company. So I don't have to work for nobody. I wish I could say that. I'm getting there. Um, right there. I'm you're getting there. I'm getting there. Look what you're doing. I don't know. I still mm-hmm. work a full time. But look what you're doing right now. That's you know. That's I mean, your, I mean your business. 
I'm mm-hmm. in your place of business. And it's nice. I know. Thank you. Yeah. I almost stole that red couch out your front. <laughs> 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 I'm like, I'm going to set the cameras down. Well, well, I just, I'm going to get them cameras up, make sure nobody walk out here with my couches. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's dope. I'm working on it, and, and that's the goal, to be able to work for myself. You know? I love it. So that's awesome. Like, you are, you got a really good story. You're always bringing me good people. You got a good story. I love Ventures Music. Hey, Chris Gotti. Oh, shout out 25. That's my business partner. Mm-hmm. 25? 25. That's dope. I'm yeah. going to be watching. I'm going to be watching and, and hollering at you on Instagram. And uh, we're going to do that video show. That's going to be dope. Yeah, that would be lit. We're definitely mm-hmm. going to do that. You know, I got to get a little oh, man, number. You know we're going to work that That's okay. going to be awesome. Yeah, it would be dope because I can mm-hmm. chime in from every city. Man. Anywhere. Yeah. You can chime in with me. We can record I can and stream it like a real Jeff. You know, let me tell you what's going on. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> My check in, check in with foreign music. Let yeah. me check in with foreign music, see what's going I'm on. I'm at the top of the mountain right now, girl. Right. But I want to let y'all know, right. ladies, you need to stop chasing that raggly that dick and tell them to get a job. <laughs> he said raggly. Raggly. You know what? And I was very successful when I left it alone. Yeah. Let me tell you that right now. Yeah. I don't be with nobody. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't be and with it's nobody. It's amazing what you can do with and all that. And I talk that, all this trash, mm-hmm. and I go and go to bed by myself. Yeah. I, I just don't have time for that. That's not going to so work. So it ain't been squirting. It's been squirting. Okay, okay. Just not with, with okay. anyone. Okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. cool. Mm-hmm. I'm a virgin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't even that ever miss. Mm-hmm. You still pay your tithes. You know, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> they go call the church man. Get that uh-huh. money together. Um, that is, that, man, you are awesome. I can't wait to watch you. Man, you, I want to DJ something. I do got a manager, though. You let me know. You need me to DJ something. I'm doing that. I practice every night. You know, I'm getting good. I'm a perfectionist, so okay. I'm going to be... Excellent. And you got the real tables, too. Oh, oh yes. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because I had a controller first. I think oh, yeah, y'all yeah, might have yeah. seen that. Mm-hmm. And then I played on one of the other DJs' table. I said, oh, I don't get my own yeah. table. I couldn't play Serato? with the toy no more. Yeah. Serratos, mm-hmm. yes. Um, those are Pioneer DJ turntables, and that's a Mixar's mixer. Mm-hmm. And then the MacBook, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Turn, I got my banner. I got all my show stuff yeah, ready. Yeah, I see it. You're ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. So, you pumpkin. I want some invites to some of these shows sometime. You know, yeah. something. Right I am, but I'm telling you. Know, you know, man. Hey, you good, man. Yeah. You okay. come through, man. At the time. He's yeah. dope. He's dope. Good, so man. awesome. So now you, you you got off the job. Now you got into your own, yeah. and you're you're running with this. Oh, it's running. Awesome. It's spreading. Any kids? Nope. What? Oh hell yeah, we go together for sure. Cause I'm not no, I'm not no dog. good stepmother. Yeah, and, and then I killed all the plant I had. Oh so yeah, I, was, I can't do plants either. Man, so. it was, a, and you know what plant I killed? It was supposed to be a plant that was not supposed to die. It was an aloe vera plant. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, say you kill an aloe vera plant. You smoke you weed kept or something else? Nah, he kept cutting it. Oh okay. Nah, it was just outside. <laughs> My mom was like, "This lady said, baby, it's gonna grow on its own." And I came back and I was like, "Mom, that plant dead." <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> That's awesome. I will be looking for you. You are a dope dude, really. Yeah, I'm everywhere. I'm on really? all. I'm everywhere. I mean, you can find me. Yeah, shoot your plugs in there. I'm shoot on your all plugs platforms at Foreign Music. F O R E I G N M U S I K. You can stream me on all platforms. Spotify, which I'm trending on. Uh, Pandora. Uh, I heart. Mm-hmm. Uh, your mama and phone. soon to be Urban City uh, Radio Station dot com. Urban mm-hmm. City Radio Station. That's right. And we rocking. We'll make sure that's on there. Hey, she mm-hmm. better put it on there because if she don't, I'm going to come and take a whole set up. Starting with them couches outside. <laughs> <laughs> no, baby, mm-hmm. I'm going to make sure I play you. Yes, I'm going to put you in rotation Starting twice. With them couches. I want two I songs then. All right. Put you in rotation twice. Yeah. We got that? Yeah. Oh, my God, that is dope. Look, y'all, y'all know I be getting the dopest stuff in here. Mm-hmm. My boo Gambino yeah. brought me some more victims. I mean, mm-hmm. A new boyfriend, yeah, right? No, more, huh? mm-hmm. <laughs> no, like, no, you are dope. Look, I was all aggressive to him. Yeah, now I'm all sweet. Him. He's so sweet. Mm-hmm. He got a story, right? He well, has an well, awesome story, well, right? Well, no, I'm I want to make sure y'all get this footage. I'll send it to you so that you can share it however you want. Oh, okay, sure. so that'll be dope. But again, DJ Squirt, UrbanCityRadioStation.com. I got Adventures Music in the building, Maybe and this is my new boyfriend. Foreign music, Foreign music. He coming back on his 30th birthday, which is in Squirt. October. Mm-hmm. Girl, don't so be I telling gotta... my age. And she lying. I ain't 30. I'm 18. 
Okay, you got to come back on his 30th birthday, whatever that is, <laughs> and solidify this relationship because mm-hmm. you know my limit is 30. You got to be at least 30. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the dope ass Gambino moving, straight from moving. New York, baby. Make sure y'all watch Love and Hip Hop. I will be on this season. And it will be some special guests. I'm going to bring my man Fawn on there. Shout yeah. to Rich Dollars, Dollars Unlimited. We're in the building. Dollars. We're doing a lot of things. Well, can you do a screen for me? Yeah. Tell them we can do a screen interview. I got you. I'll I'll take tell them I want to come. Shout to Brian Angel, Day 26. Too. I see you, boy. Hey, we now. Moving. Chris Gotti, I see you. Hey. Safari, I see you, Stunt Gang. <laughs> I'm plugged. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a lot of things right now. Hey, now. And, and my boo, De Niro. Oh, Shout my God. Shout out to whole family, too. Dex De Niro. Diamond. De Niro. Dex Diamond. Hey, y'all. Yeah. Phil. But that's dope. You guys, make sure y'all keep rolling through. You come through Cleveland, you come see me. Gotcha. As you see, I will open it up. Want to know the square. Y'all know what it is. I will open it up. Yeah. All right, you guys. It's a Sunday. I'm about to go eat and be your bar. Me some food. Right, that's some food. Oh, At least I got, can do. You, you got some? Oh, okay. No, I'll be here. <laughs> we going to eat it together. You eat one and I eat the other at the same time. Ain't that like, cute? Little, like lady in the tramp. get another relationship. He said, lady, lady, lady in <laughs> Be silly. All right, y'all. Everybody have a good night. Thanks for watching. Peace.